Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to use the single item review in Modisoft. Single item review is a module that we have in the back office that allows you to send your item changes to the POS. So why is this important? Main reason is because whenever you're updating your prices, you want those prices to ring up at the register with the correct prices. Whether you have a Gilbarco Passport, Verifone Commander, or even our Modisoft point of sale systems, you want to make sure that your retail is always correct whenever you're selling it to the customer. So how exactly do items get sent to the single item review? There are a number of ways that this can happen in Modisoft. So whenever you are adding a brand new item to the back office, whether you're doing it through the vendors, like if you receive a new item from a vendor purchase, or if you're going into the item section in Modisoft where you manually add an item in. So anytime you add a brand new item, if you make any kind of property changes to the item, so whether you're changing the cost, the department, the retail of an item, the tax of an item, if it's going to be an age-restricted item or not, all those little changes or the properties of that specific item, whenever those changes happen in the back office, no matter if you're doing it from the item page, the price book, whenever you're doing your vendor purchases, and even from like the item logs page or even in the inventory pages where you can update cost, etc., when those changes happen, that causes the item to go into the single item review so that you as an owner or if you have a management team or a manager that will basically go over all of the changes to that item just to verify that they are good before you're able to push it to the register. So I'm going to show you an example real quick on how that can be done. I am going to do the example based off of scanning a standard item into the item page and then I'm just going to update the retail and then I will go through the process of sending that to the register. So when I go here to the item page I'm going to go to products items and then I am going to scan an item into the system. You'll see that this is a trail mix bar that I have here in the back office. Unit retail is $199. So let's say I decide that I want to update the retail price to $15. Once I make that change and hit the Save button, then I'm going to go and check in the single item review so that I can review this item before I send it to the POS. In order to get to single item review, you're going to go to the main menu. There's a send to POS section here, and you'll see the single item review. So in this section, you'll see every item that you've made changes to, any new items that you've added, etc., will all show up in here for you to review before you send it to the POS. So you can go over, you know, the description, department, is it an EBT item? So you're going to go through all these fields here. And if you notice, let's say that this item, maybe you got the retail wrong. It wasn't supposed to be 215. It was actually supposed to be 219. You can come in here, edit that, go up here, and then update that price to what you it should be, and then save it. So once you make those changes and you verify here that everything is good to go, then all you have to do is click send all items to POS and then it will send it to your registers with those price changes. Now, if you notice that there are any items in this page that you do not want to send to the POS, you do have the ability, let's say this first item, the Diet Coke, you don't want to make send this to the POS yet. You can actually check here and you can click remove selected items and then that will remove it from the single item review so that you do not accidentally send it to the POS. Now again, once, once you're ready, hit send all items to POS. 
And then you'll get a message at the top that the items have been sent to the POS for the updated pricing. And if you want to verify that the items have been sent, then you can go to your register. If you have a passport, you should get a message on your screen that says the price book was updated. Once you get that message on the screen, then you should be able to just scan that item and just verify that the price has changed. Now, if you have a Verifone Commander, it's a little bit different with that POS system. You will have to log out first and then log back in. Once you log back in, it's going to do a database sync, and then you will be able to scan that item and verify that the price has changed. For the Modisoft register, all you have to do is just give it a couple minutes, maybe about one or two minutes, and then just scan the item and it should be good to go. And you should see that update. In the single item review, we also have a send to POS log and an item price log for you to look at. So if you want to see, like if you're not sure that an item was sent to the POS, you can come in here and you'll be able to see all the times that you have sent items to the POS and what days that you sent them to the POS and what their prices were, etc. So for example, let's say this was a PLU that you wanted to verify, hey, have I sent this item? Let's say you weren't sure, and maybe it's not on page one, maybe it's on page 10 of this list. You want to make sure that, hey, did I send this item to the POS? Because I don't see it on page one. We have a column filter that you can use. So if you go here to the filter, you can actually enter that PLU or that UPC and then just filter and you'll be able to see the last time that that item was sent to the POS. So it's a very useful feature. We definitely recommend you use it if you want to make sure that that item was sent to the POS. And you'll see here that it was sent yesterday at 5 p.m. to your passport. For the item price log, it will show you any price changes that were done for those items on that day. Because sometimes whenever you send an item to the POS, you don't do a price change. You might change the department or you might change the tax rate or change um, the age restrictions. So it's not going to actually change the price of the item. But this item price log shows all the times that the items were sent to the POS with a price change. So this is a very useful tab as well. So if you can, So you can find out when those prices were changed. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.